Hey, this is Notzer, and today we're taking a look at the Neptune. This is the Tier 9 British Light Cruiser. And as the title suggests, best team ever. Clearly, commentary about the current state of the game. And the state of the game is concerning because look at this game. There's no aircraft carriers. It's not a Tier 10 game. There certainly aren't submarines because it's in the test. And yet, there is still something to blame. One team seemingly is interested in playing the game while the other one couldn't be further away from it. And I'm going to show you this game because it's both infuriating and also pretty awesome because there's some cool plays, but it's infuriating to put so much effort into these games and for your team to not even show up at the load screen. And you might be going, is that true? Did, did half your team? No, every single person loaded into this match both sides and when you're done watching this it's not going to feel like it so obviously we're the neptune i move forward i did choose to have radar equipped prior to this but i switched out to smoke i never had a chance to switch that module so the duration of radar it's a waste of a point it's a total waste it doesn't contribute anything don't be confused by my choice. Why would you choose radar? Is there some magical secret that we've never discovered? No. Oh, yeah. And I, we pulled a hard knotzer here. So hard that we we're going to end up having to use the waypoint system to pilot ourselves out of this. I just was getting fed up. I wasn't getting the kind of movement that I was... I was honestly scared that I would be pulling a Austin Powers where you get stuck in between a rock and a hard place and you can't get out. So I go into my waypoint and I just tell it to try and back its way out. If anyone has a similar situation in a game where they get into a precarious situation against an island or two or ten, and you're worried that you won't be able to get unstuck, try the autopilot and tell the autopilot what you want in a friendly way. You know, like, obviously I want to back out. It's going to work to back me out. If I were to face it forward, I wouldn't really give it the option to back out. But because it did such a good job releasing me, Quickly, I'm able to engage this Kronstadt, who actually use radar. That's why I dove into cover in the first place. I didn't want to take unnecessary damage. Why would I want to do that? Man, clearly he's the only target spotted. We've got a couple friendlies playing the game a crazy way. There's someone who is pushing literally in between B and C. Don't know why. And of course, we get to see the Liebereicht Mass. I don't remember the tier. I think this is a tier... Seven or six-ish, I, mean, I think. Uh, so obviously, broadside, gonna pump AP into this guy, and clearly he's gonna run into the island, and I just wanna finish him off in the most efficient way. Of course, JB, of course. Uh, he gets a kill on the DD, but we've already lost two. So for all of the stuff we gained, well, guess what? We didn't really gain much. We actually lost, and the enemy was successful in capturing a point. I don't know what my teammate is doing in the back line of the enemy. The Ganaisa now, he was just done playing the game. Done completely playing the game. And we're already down three ships to the enemy's one. So right off the bat, you know, one of the most glaring things that I see consistently is the propensity for DDs to kill themselves. It's really impressive. You know, it, it's not suicide. I mean, I, it could be suicide. But they kill themselves so fast that honestly, if they were trying to not kill themselves, I think it would take them longer. I really do. I can't understand how multiple DDs on different sides of the map consistently die within the first three to five minutes. I have no idea. And it seems like it just rotates through. Is it just different DD players who decide, okay, this is the game where I'm going to die in the first two minutes and be useless to my team. Spoiler alert, if you don't have any DDs, which we don't, you can't win the game, most likely. It's really, really hard to win the game with no DDs. And we lose a Miyoko, and oh man, look at this game. We have no bases. We have no hope of getting any bases. I've only done 40,000 damage. I almost got a kill on the DD, and oh, looky there! We just took a full broadside from either that Tirpitz over there, probably the Tirpitz. So I'm over here going, what do I have to do 
to get anything positive going. Do I have to be the oversized DD? I think so. Like, why do teams consistently stay in the back, don't try to do anything for the objective whatsoever? They don't, they don't see any focus fire, any, anything whatsoever. I mean, yes, it's frustrating for them, too, to see two friendly DDs dead already. And I figure, you know what? I got smoke. I can move forward. Maybe I could take the base. But look at who's coming this way, too. Cow Moose, Duck Goose. Oh, by the way, great name. Cow Moose, Duck Moose. Cow Moose, Duck Moose. Cow Moose, Duck Goose. Great name. Absolutely wonderful name. But it's just not going to work out. I can't take B with radar that close. So instead, I'm just going to send torpedoes, assuming that he might continue forward, and we're going to bypass and attempt to try and take aim. I mean, what else can I do? My team is nowhere near the base capture any longer. And seemingly, you know, we've got two ships and then we're dead. The game's going to end in the next three minutes, of course. And the rest of the video is just filler. Actually, it's going to end right now because we are now down to just 20 points. In the span of about seven minutes, we've lost six ships. We've lost a ship every minute of this game. Pretty much. And it's incredibly frustrating. But, oh, something's going our way. The Missouri takes pretty much everything and is barely alive. We magically get all the way up to 112,000 damage. He's using radar because he's just, he's beside himself. How is this possible? How could anything do so much damage? I haven't even, I wasn't even around the corner. Well, you know, it's kind of predictable that a radar ship wants to try and use his radar. So, obviously we got him pretty low, and I'm very concerned that there will be crossfire here, but I, I don't really have a choice. The game literally ends in seconds if I don't get kills and or capture. Like, that's how dire this is already, and we're, we're not even nine minutes in the game. So, clearly a great representation of what everyone seemingly is going through across all servers. I send blind torpedoes once again, hoping that, you know, maybe we'll catch something. If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. And I'm just like, where is this DD? He's clearly within detection, and can you spot the DD? Thank you so much for telling me exactly where you are. Now, I think he was afraid that he would have been detected just through surface detection. So he preemptively used the smoke. But what he's done is he's told me exactly where he is. And he's left himself almost no escape. So I use my Hydra, of course, being British. And I'm going to just slowly work myself towards this enemy. Oh, Alabama killed the Seanhurst. So we only lose the game completely if we lose a battleship. Otherwise, we're still in the game. Good, good. Well, we're in range of the lightning. This is not going to take many salvos. One more should do. And we should now have a little bit more breathing space, but still completely unable to capture because I can't use smoke. I'm retreating from what looks like a Fiji on the other side. The uh, torpedoes on my starboard side, they are still reloading. The enemy Fiji was coming down on my port side, so I decided to lead him with my torpedoes. Friendlies are dealing with the turpids, albeit not the most ideal situation. And, of course, the Fiji's here to disrupt our capture. So, you know, all we can really do is fire AP on his broadside. I'm going to try and maintain good angle. And we knock out the Fiji, which is nice. Devastating strike. Confederate, high caliber. We're doing great. We're doing so much work for our team. It's, it's beyond what most of my teammates can even comprehend based on their start, right? Uh, why aren't you just pulling back to your to your spawn and, and just farming damage until the end of the game? Why do you have to try and keep this game alive? I just want to move on to the next game. Maybe that's what they're thinking. Chalk another enemy Fiji dead. We've got three kills. And a situation where we were down five ships. We are now almost equal. In fact, I think we actually have... Yes, we are actually equalized to the enemy, and this enemy Mogami, he's kind of out in the open, which is good, and this delicious island is blocking, so he can't actually see me, so I'm just gonna aim at the waterline for broadside citadels, and we're doing pretty good. 
We're doing pretty good. Uh, Got to try and relocate it just a little bit better. And oh, yeah, there you go. Enemy Mogami defeated. And now we actually have a ship advantage, albeit they have a capture advantage. But I'm going to just keep on going, keep trying, right? We're up to four kills, 209,000 damage, and, you know, maybe maybe a handful. <laughs> Let's be real, less than a handful. Maybe two or three friendlies are actually doing something to help try and stave off a loss. And this enemy York is on the broadside of my port. Obviously, out in the open, we're going we're gonna to just try and knock him out. Seems pretty straightforward, and we're doing pretty good damage to the enemy York. But unfortunately, ooh, I think we're going to get him. I think we're going to get him. Yeah, we got the York, Kraken Unleashed, and unfortunately, there's a Tirpitz that's full life right on our broadside. And I'm trying to maneuver, and nope. Nope. He finds the Citadel just before I can get an ACAP and use my smoke. But in probably three minutes, we got five kills. I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that if my team had done collectively anything we might have had a better chance of winning this game, coming back at least. As it stands, pretty much everyone who's left ran away from everything, hoping to not die completely, and they're probably surprised. This game's still going on? I thought we were dead. Yeah, you were, if not for a couple players on your team actually giving a damn. So yeah, it's really frustrating. It's really frustrating to put in maximum effort and to get nothing in return. I don't understand why so many players on so many servers are playing the game this way. This is clearly the wrong way to play it. Why are so many players doing it though? I can't really answer that. Like, it's so clear to me that you don't win games by ignoring the objective and running away. And yet, so many people do it. It seems to be the in thing to do. But I'm here to tell you, it's not what you do. You, you don't win games by just farming damage on a battleship that's pushing into you while the rest of the map is being captured. And oh, by the way, the rest of your teammates are dying. Like, there's a huge disconnect between what the player base perceives is going on and what is actually going on in most cases with these games. And I, I can't understand it. It's not because of an aircraft carrier. It's not because of a submarine. It's not because of some OP Smolensk or Colbert or Haru. It's not because of that. This comes down to just basic understanding of how the game should be played. And it's completely lacking. In all phases, there's not a consistency among classes. There's not a consistency among tiers. There's not a consistency among map types. Every single map, every single class, every single player is part of this failure to understand. And I don't know how to improve it other than to share game after game after game of how you're supposed to play the game. And yet it still seemingly has zero impact on changing the player's play style for the better. It's not better to farm damage in the back, to not risk your ship, to not contribute any towards the objective, to ignore clear targets of opportunity. That's not the better way of playing. The best way of playing is to kill the DD, shoot the DD, kill him as quickly as possible, clearly, in any class that you can do it. Try and gain objective control and focus fire. It's really straightforward. I don't know why players in DDs who know this, I mean, this is fact, and yet they figure out a way to kill themselves even faster the next game than the previous one. I joked on stream, I should just do a day where as a DD, I refuse to participate for the first five minutes of the game just to show that a DD that is literally AFK is worth more than a DD that's killed himself in the first five minutes. But I can't justify that. That's such a jerk thing to do. But I think it's factual. I think that these players who figure out a way to kill themselves in the first five minutes, if they would just take a break, 
let all the players show up on the minimap, so there was no mystery as to where certain targets could or couldn't be, they would actually have more success than they currently do. And when someone says, you're going to be a better player if you just go AFK, I mean, that says everything you need to know about the current situation with this game. For whatever reason, the player base collectively can't comprehend how to play the game. It doesn't include everyone, but just general statements here. Generally, one team is incredibly dominant over the other, and it creates games that are not fun or memorable for either side. I don't remember a seven minute game where we didn't lose a single ship. I certainly could care less about a game where my entire team's dead, except for me or a couple of handful of other players, and we've just had no chance at all. Something's gotta give. Something has to change for this game to feel better, just generally. This is completely not related to any of all the other controversial topics. There's just something wrong with the player base's play. And it needs to be addressed one way or the other. Either you have to incentivize the right kind of play, or you need to do a better job of telling them that their play is bad. I don't know how Wargaming fixes this, because obviously you don't want to tell your players that you're bad, but you want players to come to that conclusion on their own, right? You want them to see failure. Let's not do the same thing that caused us to fail again, and yet time and time again, this player base is consistently doing exactly what has caused them to fail. And I'm just really, really tired of it. I want to be able to enjoy every game in ships. And I'm basically down to the last 10% of my games being enjoyable. 90% of my games are one-sided stomps. That is not good for the game. That is not good for me. That's not good for anyone. This game needs to improve, and it needs to improve in the right sorts of improvements, not, you know, certain plus, minus buffs to ships and nerfs. We need people collectively to just get it, to understand what they need to look to do, and what they need to try and minimize in order to succeed. And I'm just not seeing that for more gaming, and I certainly am not seeing it when I play with players in the game right now. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to check out more of my content, click the most recent or the most relevant uploads. You could also choose to subscribe to my channel. We do daily World of Warship videos. First impression, how-to, news, and review related. My North American recruit invite is on the screen. You can take advantage of that. I stream at twitch.tv slash Thank you, have a wonderful day, and... I'll catch you next time.